This parting, Miss Cardew, is very painful. But I suppose you cannot desert poor Mr. Bunbury in his hour of need. I don't care about Bunbury anymore. I don't seem to care about anything anymore. I only care for you. I love you, Cecily. Will you marry me, Cecily, will you? Of course. Why, we have been engaged for the last three months. For the last three months? Yes, it will be exactly three months on Thursday. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> So, uh, when was the engagement actually settled? <laughs> On the 14th of February last. After a long struggle with myself, I accepted you under this dear old tree here. Hmm. And this is the box in which I keep all your dear letters. My letters? <laughs> but my own sweet Cecily, I have never written you any letters. You need hardly remind me of that, Ernest. I remember only too well that I was forced to write your letters for you. I wrote always three times <laughs> a week and sometimes oftener. Do let me look at them. Oh, no. I couldn't possibly. They would make you far too conceited. The three you wrote me after I had broken off the engagement are so beautiful and so badly spelled that even now I can hardly read them without crying a little. Was our engagement ever broken off? Yes, of course it was. What? On the 22nd of last March. You can see the entry if you like. Today I broke off my engagement with Ernest. The weather still continues charming. Why on earth did you break it off? What had I done? I had done nothing at all. Cecily, I'm very much hurt indeed to hear you broke it off. Particularly when the weather was so charming. <laughs> well, it would hardly have been a really serious engagement if I hadn't broken what? it off at least once, Ernest. But I forgave you before the week was out. Oh, you're a perfect angel. You dear romantic boy.